welcome to the Blind Angler. Today is uh, hopefully going to be part one of a, of a three part special um, of Jolly Boys Outing. It's me, it's Stefan, it's Matt, it's Ed. There they all are. Ding, ding, ding. And we are on our way up to Chezo. We are, it's Friday, we're home on Monday. We're staying at a caravan park from Freshwater Bay and the caravan has, uh, the caravan site has its own private beach of Chezo. So uh, we're going up there to fish that, hopefully for cod, hopefully for bass, hopefully for small eye ray. But anything can turn up there, and that's what we're going to do. So uh, we're going to sit back now, have a laugh, listen to some tunes, and um, see you at the caravan, guys. Where are you, Matt? Uh, oh. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Jolly Boys out in number one. Number one. Yeah, this is our first Jolly Boys out. Um, we, uh, Matt and I, planned this about a year ago to uh, to start doing something like this, and now this is our first one of many. So, um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jolly boys out here, number one. Here we go. We are in the car, we're having a good laugh. Uh, anticipation, excitement. <laughs> Brilliant. Um, anticipation, excitement is high on what we could potentially catch. Um, so, Matt reckons the first one, first fish caught will be a conga. I'm strap, strap conga. I'm saying whitehead. Ed from Ed Bait here. Um, he says it's going to be a scooby bass. Stefan reckons it's going to be a cod. Um, so what I want to do is uh, I want Jen to clip this and play this again with our with our uh, with our smiley faces and our happy mood to the clip when we're on our way home sulking because all we've caught is free white in and a little green eel. <laughs> so um, it will be interesting the journey back home. So. Uh, yeah, just want to share that with you, really. <laughs> right, so here we are at the caravan. Let's go on in. Here she is. She's a six berth. Dulux. Huh? Oh. Right, yeah, here we are. Six berth caravan. We are here. The sea is just out that way. I don't know what you can see because I can't see it. So uh, we're going to have a look at that in a minute, but in we go. So. We've got living area here. Steph, is the sea right out there? Yeah. Awesome. But you've got open the couch to see. So yeah, we've got our living area here, kitchen. Um, this here, nice big fridge, freezer. Very important for our bait. Yes. Um, oh, crikey, there's a door there. Let's walk through here. Um, the door here. I'm not sure what's in there. Bathroom. Yeah. Shower room. Yeah, we can make sure. Um, <clears throat> got a bedroom in here. And then uh oh, wall there. <clears throat> Looks like a oh, I don't know what's in here. Ah, another bedroom. Awesome. And then uh, I know this one here is an ensuite double because I've been in here already, so it's an ensuite double, which is quite nice. So, yeah, nice a lot of room. I mean, to be fair, guys, this is one of the um, the main <coughs> caravans, like the the really expensive ones, just because it's luxurious and um, it's right next to the sea. And that is where we're going to be fishing. Um, yeah, ah! lovely. Um, what's he, what's he, where are you going? Yeah, I'll just yeah, just bringing our stuff in now. Oh. Careful with it. So, what's it like, Matt? He's feeling my butt. Gorgeous, mate. Yeah. What's the sea look like? Pretty, pretty flat and calm. Is it? Yeah, mate. It looks bassy. Does it looks bassy, it Ed? Than I remember. Does it? Let's go and have a little look. 
we'll show how. Oh man! I don't want to load you around. I'll push you out the door. <laughs> Let's go and have a look. Let's walk out here. We're going to walk with Ed, and um, this is how far we've got to walk. So instantly you're out. Come to my left. Instantly you're out of the caravan onto the shingle of Chezzo. That's it. And then, I mean, it is lovely here. This is where we come for. Am I okay here, Ed? Yeah, you're on. This is where we come for our holidays in the summer with the children. Oh. You right, mate? Fair enough. I know I felt it in my back when you ran into me. <laughs> <laughs> and this is where we're going to be fishing for the next four days. Mate, if you walk down this bit, it's not as bad as the actual cliff bit. No, and that is it. So we're. Ed's gone down to see if there's any white bait being washed up. Let's just do a little uh, sweep. So there is some fresh, there's a fresh water, water um, outlet yeah, there um, somewhere. You are. Yeah, awesome. So uh, that should be good for, for bass. But yeah, all along here. This is all private property, this beach. You can only fish it by staying at the caravan. And that is where we are going to be. And there's a caravan so. just down there. So uh, awesome. And just over here, there's some grass. Uh, this is where we play football. Um, and uh, you're probably thinking, how does a blind man play football? But you've all seen the ball footballs with the bells. Uh, we have them. We have them with us. So we'll have a little bit of a kickabout as well. But what we're going to do now is we're going to get the car unpacked, get our fishing stuff in, pop down to the local supermarket, um, and get some get some food. Um, incidentally, the next town over, or the town over, is West Bay. There is a tackle shop there. It's I think it's about two miles away from this campsite, and you can actually get to it by walking along the beach at low tide. Um, so, oh, here comes Ed. Anything down there, Ed? Yeah, I didn't hear what you said. So here we are. Fishing weekend, so we've done a bit of shopping, and now we're having a lunch, yes, right? This, this is how we do it. I'm waiting with this Pepsi. Yeah. Okay, so here we are. We're on the beach. We are fishing. Um, so far, we've had. Uh, I think we've had about eight fish. I've had a white in. I've had a pout in. Ed's had two pout in. Matt's had two dogfish. Stefan, I think, has had two pout in as well. And I've just had a bite. I've got two rods out, one fixed spool, one, one multiplier. Um, two hook flapper on the multiplier and a pulley dropper on the other one. The pulley dropper's got sand eel, because I'm going for Ray. And the, um, the two hook flapper has got lugworm on. So um, I don't know if you can see the rods or not. But yeah, they're in that direction somewhere. I hope you can see them. Uh, so yeah, but it's not all been uh, fun and games. So far, I've had four casts. Well, that's a lie. I've had five now because I've just cast out again. I've had four casts, two fish. Um, first cast went out beautifully, but the rig went funny. Um, so that one wasn't fishing. The next one, I put new line on my reel. That one went and just bird's nest. Uh, and then, I caught, then I, as I was trying to sort the bird's nest out, the, the rod started going, so I had a hand line in a pouting. Um, Re-rigged it, cast back out, had a white in. So, at the moment, two hook flapper seems to be doing the job. But, uh, yeah, got some business pieces to sort out, get the rigs all sorted out, get base camp sorted out, and then we'll go from there. Bring you back in a minute. Right, guys, double hook up. Guys, four fish, two white in, 
only babies. I'm gonna get them back in while I'm still kicking. Um, Ed's got a congregate, he's gonna show you it now. Two hook flapper, hang on, two hook flapper has just caught two white. Now I'm gonna put on some nice juicy Ed's bait lugworm. Ed's bait, nice and fresh. Get them out there, see what we can get. On the other one, I've just changed from the pulley dropper to a normal pulley rig with a nice beautiful um, sand eel on it. Um, try and pour that ray. So let me get these on there. Get them cast out. Here he is. Two at the flapper, fish on. I'm gonna say pouting or whiting. We've... I think that's a pin white in. Absolutely one. tiny one. And I've had a doggy. My first ever doggy. Oh look, he's even got what they call a lamp free or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's even got... There he is. On the... Uh, on look one. You can see it attached to him just there, look. Anyway. Lovely job. Great fish. <laughs> Right, so we've just had, uh, I, I don't know what, I've lost count how many fish we've had tonight so far. Um, and how many seconds had? How many years you had? One. One, right, seven's had one pouting. Um, oh. um, I've, I've had uh, five. Um, Ed's had three, Matt's had four. four. Yeah, I, I don't know, it, it's, it's, there's been loads. Matt's had some nice dogfish. Um, Ed's had a nice conga, Stefan's had a pouting. Um, <laughs> I've had uh, four, four white and then a pouting. Obviously that one pout, that one white that came in just then was, uh, yeah, what was it, just, uh, just under a pound. Um, but he had the last laugh, he picked some sand up into my face, got it into my eyes, so I just had to clean my eyes out. Um, well, that makes any difference, I've got a bite. And the left hand rod just gone out, which is a putty with sand eel. So, uh, If the white in here, which it seems like they are, it is, it's going to be very difficult now for a sand eel to sit on the bottom enough for um, a ray to, uh, to pick it up. Um, same with the cod bite, uh, the cod baits. So I know Matt's got uh, Matt's fishing for cod. I know Ray um, Ed's fishing for ray. Seven's going for it all. So we're going to have a little look at the lads in a minute, see what they're fishing with, see what they've got on, etc. Um, but yeah, if the white and the pouting here in numbers, then uh, yeah, it's going to make it a bit difficult pulling out the other species. But um, you know, it's what we're here for. But you'll take what, it's definitely take anything at this moment in time. So, uh, yeah, it's a nice beach, it's nice, it's warm. It's the end of November at the moment. And uh, it is very warm, very warm. Oh. Non stop, right, guys. We're just going to go on over to Matt. Yeah. Matt's got a fish. That's uh, lot. Matt, all right, okay. <coughs> Let's go and find it, Steph. Just walk into Matt's rods here somewhere, probably. Go right, go left. Where is he? Where is it? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> flipping, what is it with the blimmin' fish tonight? Ah, oh, it's only a baby, that one compared to mine. What was that caught on, Matt? Sandio. Alright, see you. As you can see, there's my setup. No, you can't. I don't know where it is. Uh, hi there. There's my setup just over there. As you can see, Tilly like hanging off the rod rest. Rod rest all there illuminated. I did have a bite some ago, there might be a fish sitting on it, but we're leaving it for now. So that's why we do some filming. Ed's a little bit further down the beach. And then we've got Ed, uh, we've got Matt here and Stefan just uh out on the other side of Matt. Right, let's have a look, Ed. Uh, Matt. You can see it because I can't see. We'll turn your head torch off and uh, yeah, I think, right. I think so. Lovely job, lovely job.
Right, let's walk over and see Stefan. Right, we'll... you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. Are we clear? Yeah, you're good. You're fine. Stefan? Where are you? Hold them up, let's have a look. Hold them up, let's have a look. Size does not matter. No, size does not matter. I've many times. Oh yeah, fine boy. <laughs> uh, yeah, there's Stefan's pouting, well done. Right guys, uh, I think I've got a fish on my rod, so I'm going to bring him in and uh, have a little look. Here we go, guys. Not a huge one, but it's still another white in. Get him back. I just had a cracking bite. Absolutely cracking. It's literally just gone out there. It's host. It's host sand deal. Uh, at the moment, the bites are just coming thick and fast. We're not getting chance for these rays, these bass, these cod at the moment because the white is just nailing it. It's absolutely perfect. But you know what? It's good fun. I don't know if you can hear that jingling. That's not a lot good. Guys, there we are. I don't know where I am. <laughs> a nice, a nice white in. Getting them in back in straight away. Right, so here we are again. Um, it's probably about five minutes since uh, I pressed the uh, the slot button on the record. We've got more bites going on, so let's go see what we can get. Have a little look. Like this, because I said there was a reason why I was bringing this one in first, but we failed off set, and that is. I was hoping for one of these. So here we are. Yeah, here we are. There we are. We have a baby white in, a tiny little white in. And I'll tell you what that is. <laughs> That's bait for my next one. Let's go see what we can get with that. We're going to put this one down, put him out of his misery. We'll bring the other one in. Put him out there. Alright then, two up flapper, rigged up, baited up, ready to rock and roll. My life so, did it. So here we have Ed sorting out an almighty tango yeah. because Wayne Wayne definitely didn't shank his cast, did you? No. no. Wayne definitely didn't cast over his other rod and my line. No, what happened is he had a live bait on and it, it swam down. Yeah. And tangled us all up, didn't it? That's basically what's happened there. Yeah. Yeah. See, so 36 years of experience. So I've seen this once before. <laughs> so luckily, Did you do it that time as well. No, I was fishing Mount Patton with this guy, right? <laughs> he, was, he was live baiting with a float, <laughs> and uh, you were there that day, weren't you, Matt? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was, what were you fishing with? You bought him a float in. <laughs> oh, yeah. I think I went to float because I got bored of outfishing you, so I thought I'd give oh, you a chance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. one time going on. Yeah, my one nil victory. <laughs> um, anyway, shall we get it sorted? Yes, yeah, we'll get it we sorted. Shall, we yeah. shall. Okay. We shall. We're getting cold. Aww. What time is it? It's like 10 o'clock. Okay. So we still got four hours. We've got four hours. Well, yeah. 
Uh, well, you know, we can yeah, go whatever yeah. we want, but anyway, bye. Not bad luck. All right, we've got a mile to walk down to the, we should probably move the rods a bit closer, but it was a good knock. In saying it's heavy, it was a very good knock. So it means it's going to be a very disappointing waiting. Oh, here it comes, yeah, it, oh no, it's a doggy in it. Doggy. It's a doggy, right, so not as disappointing as a waiting. Here we are, guys. Stefan's uh, caught himself a dog bit. Woohoo! Well done, Steph. I'm going to bring in mine. Free bait. Let's get back out there. So, it's gone a little bit quiet for the last 20 minutes um, for everyone else. But, Stefan is utilising this time to hopefully get back in the game, get his four fish, and. Uh, Stop getting outfished by everyone. Well, you would still be getting outfished, but. Is it fighting, Stefan? It's on there. Oh, it's on there. <laughs> is it a big one? Does it feel like it's a big one? I've never built a big one yet. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going I'm to call White in. It's a brave call. It's a brave call. It could be just a wave sucking it in. Oh, yeah, you like it when it sucks it in. Oh no, it's it. Oh no, it's oh, it's a strap conga. It's a strap conga. Look at that. Are you on the line as well? No, oh, no. He's got. Oh, he's going for it. I can't even see it on the video. Yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, it is. Oh, that's one of mine, isn't it? Ed's caught himself a conga, wherever this boy goes he catches conga and he's actually caught one that is uh, that is blind, which is quite fitting for the blind angler. We've got a very good reflection in that eye, that eye very clear, turn him round and this eye is, uh, yeah, is big enough in there. Blimey, so. someone's had a pop at him. Yeah. Lovely job, well done Ed. Right, I'm going to get baited up, get back out there. You really need that though. It's on the great bike. I think it is a good fish. We've all been here before with weighing with yeah. it. I think it's a good fish. It's yeah. a white in. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> There's weight to it. I'm gonna say a ray. He's he's actually claiming a ray. I don't think it's a ray. Uh, it was a process bite. I think it's a a white in. Because it's always a white and when Wayne says it's a good fish. Pod. Oh, if only. It's an eel. Is it? No, I can't see anything. What does it do? <laughs> <laughs> there it is. It's, just, well, it's not a ray. Ooh, hi. Pouting. Not a bad white in, mate. It's Bloody a white in. Nice. <laughs> hell, mate. Is it? All I can say is, I told you. Yeah, because the that's quite big. That could be touching. That's not, that's not a big one. That might be a pound. That's more than a pound, but. Well, it's only a little bit bigger than what I had. I reckon about a pound. I'm going. I'm saying pound. Are you still recording? Yeah. That's more than a pound. Yeah, it feels like six ounces. <laughs> <laughs> that's how I feel. <laughs> That's not a bad way in. That's the waiting on the floor. <laughs> Don't worry, to be fair, Wayne normally juggles his fish. What was that, sorry? I'm going to say one pound two. One pound two. He's going one pound five. Yeah, I think you need to put it on zero and then put the fish on. <laughs> <laughs> Minus 15 ounces. 
So 15 ounces. So just shy of a pound. It, will, it should be set to one, what, pounds and, pounds and ounces? Yeah, so 0 0.15. So 15 ounces. <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> That's really good fish, though. I'm taking that as 1 0 to me for correct Where is he? guessing. Yeah. Matt, can you take a picture of me with him, please? Yes, I can. Action. Right, so I thought I'd just show you my two hook flapper rig that I'm using. Um, first of all, the rig body here. This is 75 pound shock leader. We've got a top hook, um, which is size 1.0 here. We've got some floating beads to keep the, 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 um, the bait elevated off the floor. And uh, this here is 20 pound amnesia. On the bottom, it's exactly the same. I'm using a six ounce grip. Um, it's probably not needed in this tide run, but that's all I brought with me because I thought this, the seeds were going to be quite big. Uh, down the bottom, exactly the same. Size 1 0 hook. Longer trace on the bottom, uh, just because I hope to um, find some flat fish uh, and, and put some uh, and really pin it, put some heavy baits on it and really pin it to the bottom. Um, so we'll have one bait floating up here and I'll have one on the bottom, hopefully to maximize the chance of uh, different species. So yep, that's the two hook flapper that we uh, that I'm using at the moment. Okay, so let's just move around the area that I'm fishing. I'm just gonna check my rod. I'm I'm just fishing with one at the moment. Uh, no, that's nice and tight. I'm not gonna mess around with it. Just had a little, just had a little knock on there. Um, I don't actually know where I'm going to be looking. Here we go. Yeah, just had a tiny little knock, but uh, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna mess around with it just in case the ray are starting to feed and just plonk down and sat on it feeding. Hopefully, it's a Sandio out Pally Peno rig. Uh, hook size is 4 0. So, um, ah, I'll leave that one. I've got some bells here in my pocket. We'll put the bells in my pocket so we don't hear them as I'm walking. Let's go and have a little walk over, see Matt, see what he's fishing with, see how he's getting on. Matt? Hello. That was me kicking my rod. Matt, how are you getting on, mate? Yeah, I'll see about it, mate. Um, nine or ten. Been a bit quiet now, though. Uh, what, two doggies are pouting and the rest have all been waiting. Yeah. Uh, varying size. Some tiny, some pretty good standard waiting, but still waiting. Yeah, and, and you've had your first doggy. Yeah, first and second doggy. So Matt's only been fishing for about 18 months. So uh, he's just caught his first doggy. Sorry, I thought I heard my rod then again. Ever so slightly rattles. I'm just gonna leave it. And we'll go and see if we can find Stefan. Steph? Steph? You can hear him in his box. You're trying to sleep. Steph, how are you getting on? Oh, I just woke you up, sorry, mate. Um, a few yeah. fish? Uh, five. Five fish. White in. White in, pollock. Uh, uh, yeah, dogfish. Yeah. White in, pollock, and dogfish, so. Oh, and eel. Oh, yeah, you had a conger as well, didn't you? Uh, yeah, yeah. So, uh, so Stefan's done very well as well. So he's fishing a bit further along. You can see how close we are. It's a big beach, but for some, we've pinned ourselves right in for some reason. Uh, tomorrow will be a lot more spread out. Now let's go wake up Edmund. Let's go jump on Ed. Ed's, Ed's. You're going to walk into me. Yeah. <laughs> Ed's asleep on the beach here somewhere. I'm all right. <laughs> Ed, how are you getting on, buddy? Yeah, what have you had out so far? Small dogfish. Just had a massive bite. Small doggy. There he is. He's down there somewhere. And three pout. Pouting dogfish, whiting, and an eel. So three eel. So Ed's doing very well. Quite a lot of species tonight. It'd be nice to get into one, something a bit special, something a bit different. 
like a ray, a car, the bass. So yeah. Let's yeah. see. <laughs> Let's see. Right, so uh, guys, that is the end of part one of the Jolly Boys out in here at Chesil. Um It's been a good night. Uh, we've had a load of fish. Congas, dogfish, whiting, pouting. Um, some good size whiting to be fair. And on light tackle that we're using, um, good sport as well. Which we'll, uh, we'll show you the rods and reels and everything, you know, in part two. Um, when we're a bit more settled, obviously today we got here, got to the caravan, then we um, went to the shops, got some food, went for a meal in the restaurant here, and then we came down and fished. Um, so tomorrow we're going to be a bit more settled. Tomorrow we're going to hopefully, fingers crossed, um, fish two different marks. Uh, we're going to head up to West Bexington tomorrow, hopefully, after a um, onionlet ray and cod during the day, and whatever else may turn up there. And then back in the evening, we're going to be back down on this beach but we're going to be probably fishing a bit more closer to um, or to the right. Uh, there is a freshwater outlet where uh, we hope to maybe pick up a bass or something. So, um, yeah, guys, thank you very much for watching this one. Um, please do smash that uh, like and subscribe button. It is free to subscribe to The Blind Angler. And uh, we will see you in part two of the Jolly Boys out into Chesil very soon. Thank you very much.